Alrighty guys, welcome back. This is going to be Madden 22, Broncos franchise, episode number 3. Hopping in against the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars here. Looks like we've got to watch out for James Robinson, the halfback, 5'9", 219. 79 rush yards in the first game with one touchdown. He's got star development and 87 overall. Looks like he's doing pretty well. We're just going to hop right in, get into the game, and I'll see you guys as soon as we're loading in. All right, Trevor Lawrence versus Teddy Bridgewater. The matchup we've all been waiting for. <laughs> McMahon is going to kick us off here to start the game. We'll be on defense first to start the first quarter. Let's see if we can go down and make a play with Mincy. Nope, kneels it. All right, let's see. Let's start off with a little linebacker blitz scheme here. Let's get Marshall heading in toward him. I'm going to try to rush with Simmons here, too, see if I can't time it. Yes! Got the perfect pressure for Jewel to get in the backfield there. I saw him call that guy over. I knew it was either a run going to that right side, or it was going to be a uh, pass play on play action. He wasn't getting that out. Good tackle by Justin Simmons. Switch it up. Let's do a Tampa 2 coverage here. Ooh, juked out. Fuller there. That was a good little move. Didn't do much, but we did, we did miss, so... Also, I'm trying something new on this episode, guys. Let me know whether you like the background music or not. I've seen a couple of uh, Madden YouTubers that do it and a couple that don't. And I like I like all their content, of course. But I personally prefer it with the music. So if you could just leave me a quick comment down below, like the video, you know, maybe sub to the channel, shameless plug. Shameless plug. But do leave me a comment. Let me know whether you like the music, whether that's something you would... Uh, come back to watch again with this playing in the background. I tried to make it just subtle so there's something there when I'm not talking. Run with Gordon here again. What a run by Gordon. He's already 21 yards on the day with two rushes. All right, let's let Teddy B take a shot here. He played well for us the first game. Let's see what he's got. What a catch by Sutton. Do a little first down celebration. Double coverage brings it down. Incredible. I'm going to actually audible Jerry Judy here into a slant route. So we have kind of a cross slants with Hinton going to the right there. Oh! Threw to him like a half a second, maybe a second too late. Too late there. Ooh, Gordon taking it out to the edge. Can he get the first? He does. Down to the 11. Another 11-yard 11 gain. This man is a beast. And I am so happy to have him on our team. Good throw to Sutton. Bridgewater's getting work done for us lately. The first game he played really well. That was last episode, episode 2. Here in episode 3, he's not playing any worse so far. Only a few opportunities to throw the ball, but from the opportunities we've given him, they've both been really strategically placed passes. We are uh, we are playing on all pro. I don't do all Madden. I think it's stupid to play a game that makes it almost not fun. Get a nice little view of McManus's butt there while he kicks off the ball. That's always pleasant. Ooh, nice little run by one there. Etienne Jr., one rush for six. I don't even know who that is. Let's get on Johnson here. Let's watch 
punch Robinson. Ooh, tripped up Lawrence there, and then the uh, defensive tackle was able to get him. Fatu Kasi or Fatu Saki, I forget. Let's see. Let's get on Johnson. Johnson. Ooh, what a weird play. It works, though. That was kind of a, a weird little quick pass there. Callahan gets the stop. Good job. Seven-yard gain for them. Jeez. Committed like everybody, and we still couldn't stop him. We'll just be looking. I think this year, uh, this week, we'll be looking to hold Robinson under 100 yards. I'm not really too worried about Trevor Lawrence. Uh, Madden's been pretty typical lately in letting quarterbacks just get a ton of yardage for no reason at all, and a lot of completions. But if we can hold the running back down, usually the passer will make a mistake every once in a while, a pick, a fumble, something like that. So if we can hold this running back to a low amount of yards, we'll be in good company. Well... Doesn't help when we do that. Let's be honest. Ooh. Dove at him. Didn't quite get him, though. He threw it away, though. That's a waste of a down. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's take control of Josie Jewel here. Ooh, that looked like a little bit of targeting to me. <laughs> Fell right on top of him like that. Oh my god, I hate it. That's alright, that's alright. Ojimudi is going to block this kick for us. I, I was talking about a different kick, not precisely that one. All right, let's see what Hinton can do here. He did well for us last week. I think he was 26-yard average return. Starting at the 5. Let's see where we can get this. Mm, up to the 33. That's not bad. 28-yard gain. I'll take, uh, what is that, eight yards more than regular? I'll take that. Jerry Judy running across. He's going to be on my first read here. Oh, he couldn't quite turn up field. First year rookie doesn't quite have that agility, I think. I'm going to run this with Gordon to the left, see what he can do in open space here. Ooh, got thrown down at the 32. But he's 4 for 50, man. We need to keep feeding Gordon the Rock. He's eating up this Jacksonville front line. They cannot handle it. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I saw him rushing off the edge there. Let's run a verticals play. Let's see if Sutton, Hinton, or Judy, maybe Tim Patrick on the edge can get open here. And out of bounds. Perfect. Jesus, that was close. Screw it. Let's go right back to verticals. Let's see if Judy can get open on this route. Tim Patrick. Tim Patrick gets it, but he doesn't get his feet in bounds. Hits his back out before his feet touch. That's all right. We'll take our field goal. I can't believe he caught that, to be honest. I thought he was going to drop that. Tim Patrick, though, is a very good wide receiver. Well, that's going to be a... That's a touchback for sure. 
nine yards deep like that, the computer doesn't even think about returning those. Let's see what Jules got up his sleeve here. Okay, three for 20 for Etienne. Just looking to hold Robinson down. Johnson and Johnson out there. Tackle him, jeez, ho. What are you doing, Simmons? Just standing there while Fuller takes care of it, huh? Get him down. Jeez. See, this is what I'm talking about. Lawrence is 6 for 7, which isn't unreasonable for an NFL quarterback. But throughout the game, you'll see he's going to be like... 20 to 22 or something at the end of the game, probably. Ooh, hits him down. Just does not drop it, though. Let's get on Jones here. Let's see what we can do with here. Stop him short. Ooh, Jones got hurt on that play. No way! There is no way a rookie quarterback makes that throw. We'll see if it'll show it again here. Off the back foot, running opposite way. That was a weird animation. I don't know what that was for. They were in home stadium. So they're up by four. 54 seconds left until half. We'll see if we can go down, at least get a field goal, bring it up to one point. Ooh, got out to the 30 for us again. Good job, Hinton. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep Jones, actually, because we're not on defense right now, and we're about to go into halftime. He should have plenty of time to heal. Let's run a double slants here. See if uh, Judy can get open here in the Y position. He cannot, but Tim Patrick can. Runs out. 43 seconds left at their 40-yard line. 30-yard reception. That's nuts. Let's run that again. That worked pretty effectively. Let's see. Let's see if we can get two with that. Ooh, Sutton's going, and he's in. It's going to bring it to 17-14 going into half. Hopefully we can stop them from going down, scoring a field goal, tie it up. Two-play drive for a 70-yard touchdown. That's nuts. Took us 15 seconds to score. That's wild. All right, yeah, he's not returning that. Let's back everyone off. He's not going to return that. They got 35 seconds. We have to hold him until halftime. Not super long. Bring him down. That's all you got to do. 30 seconds. That's four or five seconds off the timer. Let's go in the zone coverage here. Okay, at the 50, one timeout left, 26 seconds. Let's just let's just run a cover three here. Let's see if we can hold him out of that field goal range with this last timeout. Okay, so they're at the 33. That would make it a what would that be a 15 yard? Oh, they timed out at two seconds. Let's see if we can ice this kicker. I don't know if that's a thing you can do in the first half, but we'll see. Hopefully we can. Doesn't look like we did. 
no animation or anything. He's got it. And not enough power. We go into halftime with the lead. It's exactly what you want to see. Let's check out this halftime report for around the league. Oh, 21-7 Raiders. The Raiders who have the lead in the second quarter. Hunter Renfro, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they were losers in that one to the visiting New York Giants. Daniel Jones, two touchdown passes as his guys make amends for the setback in week one. Finally, we finish at MetLife Stadium to see what's going on with the Jets. And they trail the visiting Patriots at halftime. Nelson Aguilar, two touchdown catches in that first half alone. Dang, Mac Jones balling out Madden too. That's crazy. Bridgewater with a standout first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, let's get back in here. We get ball. Got to go down and score at least three. Get it up by six, so we're within one point to win. Good job, Hinton. Back to the 30. 29 yards per return. If he can keep that up this entire season, that's going to be pretty nuts. I want to move Fant onto a drag route here and see if he can get break open here. And he does. Oh, I couldn't quite cut it properly. My stick skills are rusty. It's his first rece reception of the game. I want to try to get him more involved. He is an excellent weapon if you can utilize it properly. Hand off to Gordon, goes down to the 34, brings him to 72 yards on the day. Jeez. Let's see. Oh, it takes a sack. No one open. Didn't feel like there was anyone with enough space there to really get the ball downfield enough to make it worth uh, risking the interception there. Let's see if anyone can get open here. Okay, up to the 36. All right, third and 12, way more manageable. Let's see if we can get this one to Gordon or Judy here. Gordon's wide open, and he might be wide open for the touchdown. Nope. Down to the 14-yard line, though. Another 13-yard reception. Or, I'm sorry, 13 yards after the reception. All right, let's give it to Williams here, see what he's got in the tank. That may be my fault. Two-yard loss on the play. All right, Bridgewater, what do you got here? You got Fant going across the middle, Judy on a drag. Oh, God, we're going to basically lose another yard there, it looked like. Let's try a slant fat, or a slant flat, rather. Let's see if Judy's not open. Oh, Patrick's got it, and he holds on. Touchdown, Broncos. It's Patrick's first touchdown of the season, I believe. Up 10, feeling a little more comfortable now. Take 
Teddy B with 63 yards that drive and a touchdown, obviously, to Tim Patrick. I don't think 39 has returned one yet today. Oh, that's, that's got to be intentional grounding, no? He threw that thing out of bounds in the pocket, I think. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing... Oh, and a sack by 93. Jones gets in the backfield after we put him back in. Cover six invert play. Let's handle Jules' route here. Ooh, knocked out by 45. And Hinton's back to take a punt return from the Jaguars in the third quarter. Let's see what he can do with it. Not much. Gets to the 36, though. That's plenty. Still averaging 29 per return. Let's see if we can run some of this clock down here with Gordon. Oh, there we go. Up to the 41. A little five-yard gain. Good blocking. Teddy Bridgard is back. He's got the ball. Tim Patrick open again. Makes the grab down to the 50-yard line. It's another nine-yard reception for him. Let's try a little bit of a deep ball here. I know I said I wanted to run some clock, but I want to try to get Jerry Judy involved here a little bit. Just throw it over to Gordon, get our two yards, stay safe, keep that clock rolling. We'll just let it wind down here out of the third. Start the fourth with momentum and possession. Ooh, I'm liking Fant's corner route there, if that uh, corner bikes did. Fant's wide open. Oh, he couldn't get out of there. What a great grab, though. All right, let's see, Gordon. Get me a touchdown here. Increase my lead. Oh, nine-yard gain, though. It's going to be second in inches. Let's give it right back to him, see if he can sneak it on in there for a touchdown. Go on, Gordon. Get in there. Good job. Gordon gets another touchdown on the year. We go up another seven points. It'll be 31-14 to 14 after the PAT. Gotta love the 2-0 season start here. Haven't really played a good team yet, so I won't get too hyped, but it's looking like if we utilize this team properly, we can get some good things going with them. Bridgewater seems to be just fine, actually, in that quarterback role. Let's do a cover four drop here. They're definitely going to be going deep most of the time here. They're down quite a bit. They're down three scores here, so... Ooh, what a good... What a good route. Who was that? Conklin? Conklin makes the grab for him. Let's run a little press. Let's switch this up to a cover two man, actually. I'm going to see what number one's got out of the backfield here. Oh, Lawrence 5 for 40 with a touchdown. He's running on us pretty well. Ooh, Lawrence goes down again. This time it's Bradley Chubb in the backfield taking him down. 
I think that's his first of the season. Brought him down. Be third down. We did give him 15, but it's third and three. Okay, that's all right. Callahan's got him. As long as we can eat this clock, I don't really care if they score again. As long as we can get that clock down just enough to make it so that we don't have to worry too much about running down the clock. I want to run this game out once we get the ball back. I don't want to give them a chance here. Oh, sneaks in for three yards. That's all right. That's all right. Second and seven. We read he was running, though, so we did better. Okay, 23 grabs him. That'll be Kendall Fuller, or Kyle Fuller, I think. All right, down to the two-minute warning. We wasted a minute and a half there. They got to go for a touchdown here. Three points isn't going to get him anything. Nice little grab. Knocked him out of bounds, unfortunately, but prevented the touchdown, so I'll take anything we can. I obviously don't want to give them points here. Oh my god, trying to take control of certain players in this game is super frustrating. You aim the left stick like you're supposed to, and it just doesn't ever do the right guy. I was trying to take control of that guy on the far right there. Just couldn't get on him for some reason. Alright, they're down 10 still. Minute 49. They're going to start calling timeouts here, I believe. Oh, didn't get the onside recover on quick enough. Johnson's got it, though. Good job, Johnson. Nice recovery. Way to keep it. All right, let's do inside zone. Let's see if Gordon can get some more yards. Pat his stat line a little bit for the day. He gets a couple down to the 47. Just as I thought, they're going to start calling their timeouts. Hopefully keep us from getting a first down here. Run it with Gordon. He gets down to the 44. That's another three-yard gain. Should be third and five, I believe. All right, we got to try to get this first down. I'm going to Patrick here. I think he's got it. Patrick does have it. Down to the 38. Let's see if we got just enough yards. We did. First and ten. Go ahead and kneel this game out with Bridgewater. Ooh, injury for Jacksonville on a knee, huh? That's definitely odd. see let's let this clock run down again guys let me know with this background music i got going it's all copyright free so don't worry about it it's not going to get me a copyright strike nothing like that but let me know down in the comments whether you want me to keep the background music if it's nice to have kind of to listen to while i'm running plays picking plays and stuff and not talking or if you just prefer the silence there with the commentators speaking i could turn them up a little bit just kind of let me know All right, I'm just going to run a pass play here. When we have about three seconds left, I'm going to call it and just run around, hopefully get the rest of this clock drained. Go 
Looks like Green Bay started 0 and 1. Three, two, one. Oh no way! It's all right. Garbage time pick. That's fine. Miles Jack gets it. Game ends 31-10. Regardless. Should have just ran out of bound, of course. But you always, there's always something in the back of your head when you're playing these games. It tells you, get it further, get it further, get it further. You know, get more yards, more, more, more. Let's see, 31, 228 pass yards, 90 rush yards, 9.6 yards per play, zero takeaways. It would have been the same for them. Uh, we would have been even at that stat if it wasn't for that last second pick at the end that they did nothing with. All right, Jags one and one. We go up to two and zero. Oh, Seventy-seven percent compa pass completion. Three touchdowns and a garbage time pick. I think that's pretty good. All right. Well, let's see. So Quinn Miners. All right, now he's a 68 overall with a little more agile. Let's see what he got. Awareness, lead block, and a couple finesse points. That's all right. 6'3", 22 over or 22 year old rookie, 90 strength. I think I have him starting actually. I'm gonna auto upgrade that guy. He's a backup. I'm not gonna go in there and look to see what he needs. All right, we'll advance week here. Ending week two, two and zero, oh, feeling good. Feeling way better about Bridgewater than I thought I would. Gordon's really helping a lot, I think, on that, carrying a, a lot of the heavy load for us. But Bridgewater is playing really well. Looks like our next game is going to be against the 0-2 Jets. I think we'll have a good shot at winning that one. Uh, looks like we have our first mock draft in Episode 4 coming up. All right, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching Episode 3 of Madden 22 on my Broncos franchise. If you liked it, like I said before, go ahead, leave a like, comment down below whether you like the background music, and sub to the channel if you want to see episode 4. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.